It is data, big time. We are awash in data. We do not know what we have come up against. We just think we do. And we have got huge challenges ahead in terms of how we handle it, privacy issues, awareness, training, protection. The biggest challenge we have for 2017 has to be IoT. IoT, Internet of Things, or IoT and ICS, Internet of Things and Industrial Control Systems. Because the fact is that the IoT revolution is happening, and it's happening right now, and it's going to happen whether we like it or not. The way I think about it is that any device that we use to connect to the electricity grid will be connected to the internet grid as well. Everything will be online. And this also means that these manufacturers, like appliance manufacturers, who, who have no existing know-how in security have to somehow be able to build in security to these devices. The devices where security is not a selling point. When you go and buy a washing machine, cybersecurity is really not a selling point. And that's a bad scenario. We're sort of setting up our, ourselves for failure. And there's no easy way to secure these devices because you will never be running an antivirus on your washing machine. And the attackers are interested in these devices because they are a vector through which they can gain access to the network behind it. So IoT devices will not be hacked because they can be hacked. They will be hacked because through those devices they will be able to gain access to where they want to go. I think the most significant cybersecurity challenge of 2017 is, is honestly no different than it was in 2016, 2015, 2014, 2013. Um, we're still struggling with blocking and tackling, right? The basics of IT hygiene just, just really aren't being executed well, which then translates into um, you know, how organizations get breached, how they deal with breaches, what the post-litigation landscape looks like for them. So being able to develop a cybersecurity strategy that assumes um, that you're going to get breached, right? That has a zero trust policy within your organization. The way that we used to do things with the perimeter um, and trusting people inside but not outside, just, that's an antiquated uh, theory and it just it's not applicable anymore. So I think as we move into 2017, um, I'd really like to see organizations start to adopt this zero trust philosophy um, and, and really start to fill those gaps um, that have been plaguing them for years, right? Patching and network segregation, stuff like that, the basics of, of IT security. Our biggest challenge is scale. Uh, for so long we've been running up problems manually, you know, writing up big policies and then auditing them and, and doing assessments and doing risk reviews all manually. Our business is getting faster and faster and faster, our organizations are going faster, they're bringing on new software, engaging with new partners, building new tools, whatever it might be. And so we have to figure out a way, every single discipline within cybersecurity has to find a way to scale. And it's not just on the finding malware, but scaling even on policy enforcement and risk assessments and so on. So I think the biggest problem is endpoint security. Attackers are going after two different things. They're going after users and they're going after vulnerable software. It's the combination of those two things that is a challenge for organizations because the workstations people need to do their jobs are becoming the entry points.